In Pennsylvania, we're looking at about a 99.9% .9 decline of all of our cave hibernating bats. Most of that is from the little brown bat, which was our most common bat in the state prior to white nose syndrome. And this fungus actually digests the live cells of the bats, primarily in the wings, and causes these bats to arouse more frequently than they should, which depletes their energy stores to make it through the whole winter hibernating, and that ensues with mortality at that point. So we really kind of switched our focus here to survivors. Specifically with the UV technique we had been working on. Lights. Yeah. So you get a bat wing that you don't see anything with, with white light. You see no visible damage, but you see it with UV light. And as you can see, when they're first infected, they're just heavily, heavily infected. All that yellow, orange color across all of that wing is infection. We started tracking the populations across time. Seven on the tragus, 11 on the ear. And we're seeing, for some reason, that there's less infection occurring. And we don't know if that is because of the bats learning ways to avoid it, Microflora on the bat's wings are increasing resistance if the bats themselves are increasing resistance. There's a variety of reasons why that may be happening. I don't think there's anything that's gonna stop this from spreading. I think we slowed it down with decontamination protocols, but bats are gonna spread this from site to site, and this will spread to probably all of the sites in North America where bats hibernate. Right now, our big goal is locating where the survivors are at. So that is the good news. We have the survivors. We know they're adapting in some ways to deal with this. And our emphasis in the future is likely going to be trying to figure out where these survivors are hibernating. Because the bulk of the places that we monitor, we've seen these massive declines. And very few of them seem to be the places where they're aggregating. We got to try and find where those survivors are at so that we can protect those bats and give them the best chance. 